drowning in famine. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Morgan Ashley. I talk a little bit about everything over here. I have some vlogs, there's some reviews, there's some luxury hauls. There's something for everyone. Um, if you're a returning supporter, thank you so much for the continued support. We are growing slowly but surely. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I ask that you do not leave my channel without subscribing. Or if you don't feel like doing so just yet, that's okay. Check out some of my other videos. But I do ask that if you did enjoy this video please make sure just give me a thumbs up give me a like why not um but without further ado let's jump into today's video finally 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 we are here you guys i finally got some lights um someone got of a background um this is my second sit down video um here in houston so just trying to get back into these sit down videos outside of vlogs um there has been quite a few comments in some of my moving vlogs about how much did it cost me to do this how did you do this um so i felt like this was the best way to give you guys all that information in in one place pretty much and just do a breakdown on you know how much how much it cost me to move from new jersey to houston texas so i did break it down pretty much into five different sections um so i'll go over everything um but if there's a question um that you may still have pending um at the end of this video or during these different sections please just leave a comment below i'll be happy to get to it and answer it the best that i can um now i just want to put it out there that this is my experience and how much it cost me to move i don't be i won't be looking to move anytime soon to anytime soon so um thank you but please you know keep your unwanted advice and question or concerns to yourself um i felt like Again, for me, these videos were very helpful and doing my own research when I was moving and I always would see comments on, well, why didn't you do this? And it shouldn't cost that much. This is how much my costs were associated with my move. So I'm just gonna give you the information on how it was. Um, I've been in Houston since August of 2023 and my move happened very, very fast. Unfortunately, um, I was living in an apartment with my boyfriend, we broke up and I finally got the approval from my job to transfer offices from New York to Houston. So I literally moved in like two weeks. So everything happened very fast. I'm sure if I did a little bit more research, I could have saved some money, but these are the costs that um, were associated with my move. So moving into the first section, <laughs> um, we are gonna talk about how much did I save and how much did I have saved. So. I did get this question quite a few times and I feel like this is very dependent on your situation. So depending on how much time you have to move, like I said, my move was very, very fast. I of course had some savings. I had say a couple thousand dollars saved, but I didn't have a big chunk of money saved. Um, I did not feel comfortable moving with the amount of money I saved. So I did take a loan out from my 401k. I took additional, say a couple thousand, I'm not gonna say exact dollars, but I did take additional couple few thousand thousand dollars out of my 401k as a loan um so you know i won't get tax penalized i just pay it back with the um i get paid weekly so it just comes out of my paycheck weekly so if you have um the ability to do so and you don't have enough money liquid cash um as far as like when you're looking to move that is an option i don't see why not um so yeah that's an option um Again, I can't give you a dollar amount. I would say I would not feel comfortable moving across the country, halfway across the country. Again, it's dependent on your situation, but I would not see myself moving to Houston with less than $5,000 from New Jersey. Um, I would say even the bare minimum, people are a little bit more frugal and can make things work. I'd say the maybe $3,000, but for me, I would not have moved with less than $5,000 liquid cash just because Things are expensive at this point. Texas is definitely more cost effective than New Jersey, but it's still expensive and it's it was a, it's a big distance. Um, so I would say it's very dependent. And then also depending on your situation when it comes to say like your credit score, how's your credit history? Because if you have to apply to different apartments because you're getting denied, that may bring up your cost because you need additional money to apply for application fees and deposits and whatever you, the um, apartment is asking of you during that time of applying. So that can be very 
a different situation for different everyone. Luckily for me, um, once I finally did my research, um, I did use an apartment locator. So I did use two, sorta. I used Fancy Apartments and Smart City Houston. Um, the Smart City person, realtor, was not as helpful. So I eventually stopped talking to him and used the Fancy Apartment locator. Um, so I did go through his list, but at the same time, I was doing my own research. And the apartment that I'm in, I found it on my own. Um, and I would say they are good to use if you are not like me who you're gonna do your due diligence or you have a friend here. I did utilize my friend as well um, for information on apartments. They can be helpful for you, but also I did wanna use one because you typically can get a rebate back. So it did take a few months for me to get a rebate, but I did get $200 back. So that's a win-win situation. Um, so that was sort of much in how much I had saved and depending on your situation. Um, so going into the application fee. So again, like I said, if you have to apply to multiple apartments, depending on your credit score, that's going to change your amount saved. So application fees. So I only had to apply to one. So my uh, application fee was $75 and I had to put down also a $300 deposit to hold the apartment itself. Um, so like I said, I recommend using the apartment locator and I got $200 back. So going into the actual moving, <laughs> again, my move was very fast. Um, I initially was going to just do a U-Haul like trailer and hitch it in the back of my car because like there's certain items. Luckily for me, my, like I was sharing an apartment with my boyfriend, but he or ex-boyfriend, whatever, he was staying there. So luckily like we didn't have to split up furniture we didn't have to like move out of apartment and find either dispose of dispose of or move these items of big furniture pieces so i thank god that my situation happened the way it did because i think i would need more money saved on once to take things um i just was like you know washing my hands with the situation he kept basically everything um the only things that furniture wise that i did want to take um was like a large oval mirror and a like swivel chair but when it came down to it i didn't go the u-haul hauling route um just because it would have been like basically over a day drive and then also the states that i had to go through i just wasn't comfortable and my mother i'm the only child she was not having it she was like i will pay to get your car shipped so essentially for me to move i shipped my car um i use mercury auto transport so they are a more so a um car shipper broker so you give them the information on like when you're moving type of car you have and they pretty much put the quote out into different carriers so the carrier i had i'm not going to give the information because he was great and he also did not charge me to pack my car i did pack things in my trunk in the back seat um but i did not overdo it so i did it still below the back seat level of the windows um, I did have some from in the front seat, like on the floor, but I did not overdo packing my car. Um, there still was a lot of room, but I did hear like, you can't have more than say like a hundred pounds of things. The car transporter that I had, he was very, he was nice. He didn't charge me, but his, it took, he was in Houston and it took me still an additional three days to get my car because his truck had broken down. And he was like, this is like the second time in like a week it broke down. So that's the only reason why I'm not going to give you the information. But he was very, very nice. Um, but Mercury Auto Transport was okay. Um, the, I Like I said, I paid $10.75. And that was higher than I initially was quoted. Um, and you will get hounded by auto transport companies once you put that into the world. You're looking to transport your car. So um, I have a 2017 Honda Civic Um so a regular standard car and it was still 1075 from new jersey to houston and it took say he picked up my car it took like a week i want to say um again for my things i did not bring big furniture so i really just had like clothes bags and shoes i didn't even take the mirror didn't even take the swivel chair had nowhere to put it um so um as far as like my clothes and my shoes, I had a lot of it. I did bring a lot of stuff back to my mom's house in Connecticut as far as like my big winter clothes and jackets. So if you are able to utilize like your parents' house still, 
for storage, I would say do that. Um, I literally had like three big old bins of um three big old bins and like a stack of coats and brought them to my my mom's house luckily i still have a room there i still have a closet like a closet room there um so i was able to just put things there uh, but i still had a lot of stuff to bring so i had to ship three i can't remember if they were large or extra large boxes like home do home depot moving boxes um i shipped them to houston Again, if you are if you have a friend or family members here, utilize them if they allow it. I shipped my boxes before I moved. I shipped them to my friend Lauren's house. Um, she moved here. She was okay with them being shipped to her house. Um, I shipped them via UPS. Um, they cost one box costed ninety one dollars, and the other two costed the same. They were sixty six dollars. And I would advise you, if you're going to go that route, use um, this website called Pirate Ship. So they utilize UPS and USPS. I didn't want to go the postal service route because I don't trust the post service. I do not trust the post service postal service with my stuff as much as I would um, trust UPS. So I think my things were a little bit more expensive. Again, I can't remember if I did large or extra large boxes, but. I insured my things too because I shipped like my expensive shoes in their shoe boxes. Um, it was like two bins of uh, boxes, two boxes of shoes that I went to keep the shoe boxes and then another bin of big old of, of clothes I think in some bags. But it was a lot of my most expensive, expensive stuff. Um, so I utilized UPS over USPS. I'm sure I could have saved money, but it did save me, I think over a hundred dollars using pirate ship compared to going to UPS itself. So they are legit. You have to measure your boxes and put the dimensions in on their website and also the weight. Um, so I just used a regular scale and only one box I got adjusted. I got like an additional $15 um, because the weight or the dimension was off. It really wasn't, but I didn't fight the $15 because I saved, you know, over $100. So it was whatever. So I would say if you're like me and if you're not taking a U-Haul and you're just moving clothes and shoes, utilize just shipping your stuff. Um, because even though I did that, I still have, a, of course, other things I wanted to bring. So like some maybe kitchen appliances that I did pack in my car, um, like hair care products, just like little different knickknacks. Um, because again, I utilized my car, those three large boxes, but I also um, had two check bags. So I flew um, and my two check bags were $70. My first check bag was $30 and the second one was $40. I flew American Airlines, so that's how they charge it. Um, my direct flight from New Jersey, to, or, or no, actually I had a layover, but my flight one-way ticket was $297. So $300 for the flight and then additional $70 for, um, you know, my check bags. And that is pretty much how I got all my things from New Jersey to Houston. Um, of course, I did leave a lot of things behind, but in order to save money and to best utilize, you know, the situation that I was in, I, I had to do what I had to do. Ship boxes, pack my car, and check some stuff to get it here. And it all worked out. I just bought, of course, had to buy all the furniture. Y'all see, had to buy it here. And that's okay. If you have new furniture, you're probably going to have to utilize U-Haul. Um, I did look into that route. U-Haul was very, very expensive. Again, my move was very quick. So I don't know if you look to book things out further in advance and maybe cheaper. I'm sure it might. It possibly would be, especially if you pay in advance. Or the pack rat things, depending on how far you're moving, um, Mine was a long distance, so I'm sure you can save money that way if you're not moving as far as me, but that's why I didn't go that route and I had to leave things behind. Um, so next, um, okay, so we secured our, part, our apartment, told you how much I had to pay in the application fees, the deposit, and then moving all of my stuff. So um, the next section is the utility, utility, utilities I pay for. Um, so of course I did all these things before I moved. Um, you have to, of course, and then especially a state like Texas, the, well, the only state, you have to um, secure your electricity. Like you have to pick your electricity company. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I didn't do research, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to, but I was like, I don't know. I just, 
asked my friend what did she use she said she used reliant um which is like i think nrg is like the, one of the largest and a lot of the smaller companies get their energy from them so she said she thought she found it was she used it it was okay so i just went with them and the good thing about that um if you have a friend or a family member that lives in texas um ask them to refer you because she referred me like using her link and we both got a 50 dollars credit so my first electricity bill i didn't even have to pay i actually had a negative balance on my account because it I can't tell you what my first bill was but um you know i had that 50 dollars on my account so that was a good way to save money and thus so far living here from august um to now january 2024 reliant has been good with me um it was turned on the day before i moved i got the notification that it was turned on um my bills even in the summertime with putting my ac they really weren't ex um astronomical high excuse me I feel like right now the average um 35 to 40 dollars and in the summer i want to say of course they were higher because i blast <laughs> air conditioning but i even i feel like ugh, max 75 dollars i think that might be high for some people depending on who you go to um i went with their apartment 12 month plan i think that's what it's called i don't know but anyways for as far as electricity you are going to have to choose it and depending on who I think also like your credit you may have to put money down i don't know but i went with reliant i got a 50 dollars credit utilize your friends and family if if they have a refer friend um you know uh program on who they use next was rental insurance so i went with geico um assurance is i guess the thing for texas so i wanted to use who i had in new jersey which was lemonade they were very very cheap and i insured my things very very high my as you see across my channel i have luxury items now i know most rental insurance companies will not pay you for the things that you paid for or even take into account the um you know the appreciation but i still like to have my things insured pretty high and i found it very very difficult um to get rentals and in, rental insurance here for a reasonable price at the assurance at the uh, insurance level i wanted or you know whatever amount whatever it's called um so i went with a geico insurance it was 37 dollars. lemonade you had to pay up front unfortunately geico i can still mon make monthly installments so that's why i went went with, the went with them and then i also had to secure my wi-fi and xfinity or my wi-fi beforehand i went with xfinity and my bill is 51 dollars a month and i can't tell you what i pay for um like megabytes or anything i don't know i went i think maybe the second to lowest i don't know but it's 51 dollars a month so these are things that i had to secure beforehand i did not have to put any money down on any of these but these are just things for you to be mindful of when you do look to um secure utilities and think about so the last section is signing your lease so this is pretty much my breakdown on when I moved to my apartment. So I got here, had my flight, moved all my stuff, came here August 12th and went to the leasing department. And the total amount additional money that I had to pay was $1,337. So of course that included my prorated rent for the month of August and then all the additional fees of, uh, so my apartment charges um, a fetch, Fetch was this um, a like company where you would ship your, say if you buy something from Macy's, you would ship from Macy's to Fetch and then Fetch, you would set up a delivery time from Fetch. I don't use them. I still ship things here, but anyways, I have to pay for it monthly. So it's a Fetch smart home fee, a trash resident liability, which is basically like their insurance. So I just use their insurance to cover for like their stuff. And then I have my own rental insurance for my things. I could have declined that resident liability program, but it's $12. I just say y'all keep it and I pay my own for my things. And then also pest control. So that's what that 1337 included. Um, and also, sorry, my security deposit was $300 and the administrative fee was $200. So that was $500. Um, but I also did get a credit 
on all those fees for that moving in August 12th. Um, so that $300 deposit that I paid back in when I was applying to my apartment, of course, was um, credited towards the amount outstanding. So that's where that, um, it would have been 16 37 if I didn't have that $300 but it was applied so I only paid the $1337 um and yeah that's pretty much what I paid so I did not do the total let me total it up and I'll come back and tell y'all okay so my grand total and mind you the prices that I'm telling you guys are just the standard prices doesn't include the taxes or whatever but it was $3,326 on me moving so again like i said that's why i would not move with less or think about moving with less than three thousand dollars because as y'all can see i think i did it i didn't move furniture i moved clothes shoes my car and myself and i'm still over three thousand dollars now i can say my apartment is definitely probably the pro rent and rent probably could have been cheaper if I didn't move into if I moved into a least expensive apartment. I did go higher because I wanted to be in the neighborhood that I am. I moved to the Heights and also I was very um, aware that Houston has a lot of people stealing tires and rims and stuff. So I also outweighed the, the fact that, well, I'd rather pay more in rent than have to worry about my car having tires stolen where you would have to buy tires. So that was my thinking on why just going with a little bit more expensive apartment complex, knowing that my car is a little bit more secure and not having those issues. And I can say there has been no issues yet. There was an incident actually recently though, but come to find out supposedly um, the person had an incident with someone. So that's why their car was left on bricks, okay? <laughs> Um, but there has been no incidents in my building at all um, and then I'm not even factoring it factoring in on like how much my Ubers cost from like <clears throat> getting from the airport to uh, to my apartment um, luckily my ex-boyfriend brought me from our apartment in New Jersey to the airport but then also thinking about when you get here like you need money you need to feed yourself if you don't have no more money how are you gonna eat and like for me where my car i didn't have my car right away i had to <clears throat> excuse me luckily i had my friend um come to me meet me on uh, the same day she yeah she picked me or she didn't pick me up but she came and visited me the day i moved in and she brought me to the uh h-e-b the grocery store and got like some essentials but if i didn't have her i would have had to uber to like the grocery store to buy some things like just essentials a cup uh, plates um just like even easy like to go meals like you need money for that and then um like what are you gonna sleep on luckily i did bring some towels and like washcloths but if you didn't bring that you would have to buy that i did bring my blow -up bed so if you were like oh and if you're not moving any furniture you're not gonna have a bed right away are you going to sleep on the floor I don't think that's, you know, that's not reasonable. You might have to buy a blow up bed and that's something else you have to think about buying. Like, so it's just like the, the money, the little things you have to buy just add up and add up. So that's why I say, I think $5,000 is a reasonable amount of money to move with for the bare minimum, okay? The bare minimum, um, cause you just never know what can happen. Like I said, my balance, my total was three thousand three hundred and twenty six dollars think about if you had five thousand dollars saved up you still have like sixteen hundred dollars at least to play with you know for like moving until you're able to settle in if you if you're not moving with the job you gotta get a job i mean you gotta pay rent you know it's there's different factors that you have to just think about if you're moving with a job, then you know, you don't gotta think about it. But if you move in here with no job, then it's like, sis, let's be smart about this. But I don't wanna keep rambling on, but I hope you guys found this very helpful and informative on, you know, how much money you should have shaved up, how much money it cost me to move from New Jersey to Houston. If there is anything that I did not touch on, or if you're curious to know how much something cost, um, I think I, touched on all the costs um my rent my rent is 1650 um i will throw that out there oh and also be mindful i'm sorry i did want to point this out 
because after when I got my rent bill in September, make sure you ask these questions when you are talking to leasing agents because yes, of course, I did my due diligence. I asked, I had a list of questions. Are you in a, cause mind you, Texas and Houston, we know they flood. Are you in a flood zone? Um, like asking did amenities close at additional hours do you have to pay for your water like is there anything included what is all what is the total of amenity fee and make sure you ask like are you sure there's no additional fees because my leasing agent did not tell me and when i got my first bill i had two charges on trash and i'm like well why am i getting tr trash a second one if it was already prorated when i moved in and paid it on in august so come to find out, I also, in addition to my trash fee, the valet trash, which is $12, I also get charged for like bulk trash. So meaning like that, I feel like that's a good thing though. Like if you're moving out and you're not taking your sofa, we can put our sofas out um, by like our, uh, like our trash dumps or whatever, and the people will haul it away. So uh, my complex works on depending on how many people are in the apartment it just gets split up every month on I guess how much they are charged they split it evenly throughout the building but depending on how many occupants um and that's how our like bulk trash is split up but that was an additional fee that I was unaware of um and then also I was unaware that I would have additional um what else administration fee so there's like a uh, uh trash at no i'm sorry a utility service fee um i knew i would get um charged water i knew i would get i knew i would get charged my valet trash i knew i would get charged past um, my resident liability program smart fetch um sewer i was unaware bulk trash i was unaware um the way they break down water too cold cold hot um I feel like additional water service fees. I don't know, but I think that's just the uti utility service fee. But there was just additional service fees outside of the $65 admin. If, I mean, the additional $65 that I knew I was going to pay that I was unaware of. So if you don't, t if you are like saying, okay, I have enough, but if there's additional fees month to month then and, and you don't have any money, then you got to figure it out. So just make sure you ask asking questions. You're being very thorough and being smart about your move, you guys. Um, but yeah, I think I have babbled enough. I think, I hope that this was helpful for you. And again, if there is anything that I did not cover or touch upon, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to try to answer it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you are not subscribed, but you have made it to the end of this video and you found it helpful and useful, please like it, like this video and subscribe. It doesn't, you know, it don't cost you nothing. It don't hurt. Um, cause I do appreciate the support. Um, cause your girl is on her way to getting monetized. Okay. <laughs> but okay, you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, I'm babbling, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Drowning in famine, natural disaster.